For the second straight year, a member of the News 9 Daybreak team heads to the start line at the Boston Marathon. And this is a legendary race. I've always wanted to do something this big. I've seen other people do it. I want to be a part of it. Kevin conquered the course last year. Welcome to my training here. And now Sean hits the heart of his training program. What advice has Kevin Skarupa given you so far? Uh, <laughs> don't do it? No. <laughs> uh, his advice is, you know, Stay focused on it and stay positive about it. As part of his Boston Marathon journey, Sean is running for families in transition. One of the things you notice when you run around some of the cities around here, you do notice there are a lot of people out there who don't have a home. There's a lot of homeless people out there. And there are people out there every day trying to fight this, trying to get these people into transitional housing, trying to get people into permanent housing. And Families in Transition is what we're going to be partnering with. So for a kid from Walden, went to BC High School, you were a hockey player, little golf mixed in. Uh, there were many sports, actually, lacrosse, baseball. Yeah, so you did it all. Now, for that kid to be running the Boston Marathon, for that guy now, what does this mean to you? This is a big deal. This is kind of like, almost like the crown on top of all that. I mean, over the years, I've done a lot of sports. I've run a lot of races, but I've never done something this big. So it's a big deal for me to be able to do it. Good luck to Sean, and let those 20-mile training runs begin. Jamie Staten, WMUR News 9. Oh, we love I, it. I didn't realize I look like that when I'm running. <laughs> <laughs> you look great. Sean is being joined by other members of the WMUR team who are all running to benefit families in transition as part of our ongoing initiative, Homeless in New Hampshire. All funds raised will go directly to helping prevent and break the cycle of homelessness. Well, every single night, uh, Families in Transition serves over 600 people. So 600 people are sleeping within our programs each and every night. So the money that we're going to raise is going to support people who are homeless, families who are homeless, um, food insecurity through our food pantry, as well as support people who are in recovery. It is such a wonderful cause. If you'd like to make a donation, you can go to WMUR.com slash marathon fundraiser. We're just announcing this now, but you've been training for been months training for now. a while. We should mention, by the way, Maria Devlin also running. Yeah, I've been training for months now mm -hmm. to get ready for this, and I'm I'm not really ready for this. Yeah, yes, <laughs> oh, it's come hard on. to do. Kicks in, My right? legs Can are like, what are you doing? But I'm getting there. Is oh. there a particular kind of weather you want me to put in the weather machine for don't that? You like it cold? Uh, 40 degrees yeah. and cloudy, if you don't mind. Okay. That's it. Yeah. I will work on that. I can put it in early order and yeah. see if Mother no, Nature no, I, answers. That's my preferred yeah, forecast. Really nice. return you have an in with the weatherman. That's no. true. <laughs> Just kind of elbow the uh, old weather machine over there. We'll see how this works. <laughs> Let me get a little closer.